Tonight, controversy over government's massive U-turn on road tolls that are not only coming back, but doing so with more than 80% jump in tolls across the board. We hear from the NDC minority in Parliament as the House is set to be asked to approve the new tolls, plus the position of the transport unions who are tonight warning government not to misapply the tolls. We are paying these road tolls for them to use the money to fix our roads for us. So that is what we are expecting, that they should go by that. Meanwhile, heated exchanges in Parliament over road construction by the MPP government. I have to help you know that the position has never benefited from the work. This is Top Story with Evans Mensa. And Top Story is always brought to you by Vodafone. Government is tonight set to ask Parliament to increase road tolls by more than 80% just over a year after they, the government abolished the tolls across the country. Tonight, the move has sparked controversy with the minority raising concerns, pointing out contradictions in government's application of the reintroduced tolls. The Ghana Private Road Transport Union is warning government not to misapply the tolls. We will take you to Parliament shortly. But first, my colleague Kojo Brace and Kofi Ajay joins me now with details of a widely circulated memo uh, from the Finance Ministry uh, to the Transport Ministry and what else we are learning about this particular plan. Uh, Kojo, so uh, we know uh, because of this memo that was leaked that this is coming. Mm. What else have we learned? I mean, so we are learning that uh, the ministry is trying to get the input of the roads and highways uh, ministry in determining how much the uh, road tolls or how much we are supposed to charge in, in tolls. So the letter to the roads ministry is for them to, um, you know, make an input into what the Ministry of Finance is doing. That, okay, we want to charge this much. What is your thought? Because at the end of the day, they now have to understand how much you're charging and again we are yet to select the roads that will be affected by this tolling so we are we've not decided route a or b will they are now going to decide on which route will be affected by the tolls okay we know the road tolls do not affect all roads yeah. some particular roads mm -hmm. are told and some are not and mm -hmm. so that's a decision that uh, the ministry will have to make but the decision has been taken that this will be reintroduced but the other thing that we know tonight is that it's not only going to be reintroduced there is going to be an increase an in increment. the total they are charging yeah. mm -hmm. and we've seen the uh, in a, a attached appendix mm -hmm. that shows what you can expect so for example if you take uh, if you if you are uh, you ride off if a you motorbike, ride a motorbike um, initially you used to pay 10 pesos now you're going to pay 50 pesos if you use you know a salon car like we do have um is initially used to pay 50 pesos now you pay one Ghana cedis if you have a four by four vehicle instead of 50 pesos you pay one city now um you pay one city 50 pesos because initially you used to pay one cedis light buses will now pay one city one city 50 pesos instead of the one city they were paying um mummy wagons will now be paying one city 50 pesos heavy buses will now pay two cities instead of the one city 50 pesos they used to pay light goods trucks uh, will not that's those who have two axles will now be paying two cities instead of the one city 50 pesos medium good trucks so three axles those um uh, trucks will be paying three cities now instead of the two cities four axles will be now paying three cities five or more axles will be so that's the heavy goods trucks will now be paying three cities 50 pesos for agricultural tractor you will now be paying one cities and agriculture tractor with trailer would also be paying one city so that's that's the new arrangement Kofi, the, the average percentage increases is what exactly it's around 88.05 percent across board and one of the things that uh, we need to point out is that the government from the uh, that memo that was sent out mm. this is going to be applied to uh, roads that they are yet to select yes uh, and the implication there is that you, you're going to have a general application of of this particular uh, uh reintroduced tolls on our roads mm. but when government first hinted that they will reintroduce the tolls they were very specific that these reintroduced tolls will only apply to roads built under the uh, public private partnership arrangement yeah. now in fact as as late as uh, you know this year 
the deputy finance minister, Abinor Sayasai, was on the floor of parliament insisting that the tolls will not apply to just every kind of road, but mm. specifically roads that will be built under this particular arrangement. Okay, let me put the road tolls in perspective. In 2022, when we said that we were abolishing road tolls, we said that it, is, it will be applied on roads that have only public private partnership. That was what we said in 2022. So if for some reason we are bringing back the road tolls, then it is for roads that will have public private partnership. So um, let's just correct that one. And I think the last one has to do, the last has to do with the vast race, which I corrected. Okay. So, so the key point to note here is, and she says that it will apply if we are introducing, and now we know they will, it will apply to uh, roads that have been built under the uh, private-public partnership arrangement. I am not aware of any road currently in existence in Ghana that has been built under that. We'll, we'll, we'll check that with uh, Engineer Mahama. We'll also check with the uh, ranking on the uh, Roads Committee in Parliament. But I remember that in one of the recent budgets that was read, Kofi, mm. the ministry specified that this is... A, a, a future plan where they plan to build the Tema, uh, Accra, the Accra Tema motorway, motorway yeah. under that arrangement, and that possibly was going to be the road that will be used or will be towed with this particular, um, with, under this particular arrangement. Well, so in the 2022 media budget, the finance minister made it clear that new roads under the public private partnership act will be towed to recover the whole life cost of such roads, and an example is what we mentioned the Accra Termamoto Way Extension Project. Okay, so that's that's a key thing that uh, to note. And, and if, if you watch the budgets, uh, it's traveled a bit because they specified, they, they qualified the, uh, um, the application of the reintroduced tolls in the previous budget of 2022. But in 2023, they seem to have given a more blanket mm, implementation. Exactly. So they say fiscal policy measures to underpin the 2023 budget for consideration and approval of parliament include the reintroduction of road tolls on selected public roads mm. and highways with renewed focus on leveraging technology on collection to address the inefficiencies characterized by the previous road toll collection now we know that before road tolls were abolished we had about 38 road to road stations uh, toll stations and they were giving us on average annually about 70 to 72 million uh, ghana cities it's been more than a year since we abolished the toll so we are assuming that if you do the math then currently we've lost close to 90 million uh, ghana cities 90 million cities is what we've lost over the period and, and kofi is important to stress uh, um, before the road tolls were abolished, this was making us uh, 72, 72 million seniors. Yeah. Uh, and, and with the new tolls proposed, do we have an idea how much more government can expect? Well, because it's not across all the 38 toll stations, uh, but the mass we did, we are looking at somewhere at least 100 million Ghana cities. Okay, so um, so currently we've already lost 19 million. And if this is approved, uh, we'll get more uh, from the proposed tolls. I want to bring in the ranking on Parliament's Roads Committee in Parliament. He's also, um, I, I, in fact, I'm not even sure if he's still a ranking because, of course, now he is the Minority Chief Whip, uh, Kwame Agboja. Mr. Agboja, if you want to clear that up for me, do you have somebody who has replaced you on your committee already? Uh, yes, uh, good evening, uh, Evans, and good evening.
um, the resources well. The problem is that it's not as if we don't charge road tolls in this country. The public is basically unhappy with what we use the proceeds of the road tolls and all the charges which we charge on the road for because they feel that they pay some amount of money and that money hardly gets seen in improving the roads in this country. And they got worse and uh, since 2017-2018 when this government introduced something called capping and uh, uh, realignment act basically in 2023 budget as you can see the government is projecting that for instance the road fund will generate 2.4 uh, billion Ghana cities but if you go to the uh, appendix c uh, 3c the expenditure section you will see that they are only going to spend about 1 billion cd on roads in other words we use the name of roads to collect money from the public and then we take majority of that money and spend it elsewhere, uh, 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 elsewhere. Now, what are we supposed to do? In my view, unless we can prove that whatever we charge as road tolls would entirely be used on road-related expenditure, the minority will not support this. Because we can't spend money or contribute money to build roads, and then somebody goes to use the money to pay for cathedral or to pay for things that the public doesn't feel it's, it's, it's relevant. So... I think he's speaking too quickly. Yes, if they want to bring it back. I, I'm, I have no interest in saying I told you so, but I feel if we need to bring the road toll back, let's do this with consultation broadly so we can all understand what we want to do in terms of the roads, the how much we charge, and the application of this. So it will require probably even a review of sections of the Road Toll Act. So it's not just going to be an issue of... Uh, 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 fees and charges uh, act that he's talking about. And, and it is very sad. As we speak, uh, Evan, I know people who have weeded sites of roads in communities, like uh, they call the SMC, uh, small medium con uh, contractors, who we owe 15,000 cities, 20,000 cities for three years. We are unable to pay them. Imagine if we had even the 72, 000, uh, 72 million that the minister says is no money. Imagine if we have 72 million, would have done a lot. It's a very, very sad situation. But guess what? Government feels that when you are voted, you have the license to do whatever, even if that decision is totally reckless. And it is a very, very sad situation. Just for clarity, so you're stating that you, you would only support this amendment of the bill and the new uh, tolls if government can explicitly prove to you that they will use the proceeds for its, uh, its purpose. Well, we will never support this if the uh, 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 capping act is still on the road, uh, road, uh, road fund, Be because it will basically mean that you are going to give them the opportunity to collect money for in the name of road and use it to, to do something else. So to, we've even said this thing to them already, that the conditions under which we'll be happy to even discuss this is that the, the, the road fund into which the road toll is paid is totally decapped and that we should see 100% of that money applied to road-related re uh, expenditure. Anything apart from that, we are not going to be uh, supportive of it. And, and secondly, we, they are even rushing in terms of how much they will charge on particular roads. We haven't even gotten to that stage yet where we'll discuss how much we should charge uh, a saloon car or a 4x4 vehicle. So I'm not even sure why the, the finance minister is jumping the gun by saying all this. It's totally unnecessary. We haven't gotten there yet. And, 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 and I know uh, Parliament has a ma major say in, in these fees and charges uh, as far as the roads uh, are concerned. Um, in terms of the PPP roads, though, um, I wonder if your committee have been briefed at all on plans to construct any particular roads in this country using that and whether they've given you any timelines. The only one I recall was Akratama Motorway. Well, Akratama Motorway is currently not under any contract. As you know, I've been fighting this government on the illegal motor angels contract i am sure that that contract is uh, truly dead now uh, it doesn't exist so as we speak there's no viable or uh, enforceable contract on the crater motorway so as you rightly said earlier there's no road project currently ongoing in this country that you can call uh, a ppp arrangement that is uh, going to be completed and told so that is the the, bo the, the bottom line and from what you've seen from this memo is it your understanding that this uh, new road tolls that they are proposing will apply to the standard roads that we know were told before and not necessarily PPP roads? Exactly. That the, my 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 the, uh, expectation is that this will be applied to any uh, existing road. It's not going to be uh, on any PPP road as uh, we are talking about. In any case, 
you need minimum of two year, three years to start and complete any stretch of road in, in reality. Uh, I don't think, if, if they are talking about three years, I'm not sure they'll be talking about it today. They are talking about uh, touring, touring roads that already exist. Um, they said that they haven't selected those roads yet. I have an idea which road they'll, they'll be talking about, but let them come for it and, and then we'll discuss the, the details. Thank you very much. That's uh, Kwame Abuja. He is the minority chief whip. He is also ranking um, on the uh, mines and well, on the roads committee in parliament. There is a, a, a need to take a pause on the uh, tow story and bring you a, a significant development story uh, on the domestic debt exchange program uh, that is just coming in right now. Some very important news for many uh, who government had owed billions of cities and government was in default there is an update and george Raffi, uh, is with me right now with that update george um 13th came 13th passed deadlines have passed and ultimatums have been issued already mm. today by mm. the uh, independent uh, bondholders forum individual bondholders forum mm. there's a statement from the finance ministry yeah. What does it say? Well, if you go through the statement issued by the Ministry of Finance, it talks about government commences payment on the outstanding bonds. Now, it says that following a press release issued by the Ministry of Finance dated 27th of February 2023, a government is pleased to announce that the process to settle the payments on the outstanding bonds commenced yesterday, that is the 13th of March 2023. The initial instruction covers a coupon and principal payments on bonds that matured events, that is on the 6th of February 2023, and that on the 13th of February 2023 now holders of their ford listed bonds should therefore expect to receive their payments within the next 48 hours now payment date for the subsequent maturities will be communicated in due course as processing continues the ministry of finance takes this opportunity to thank all the stakeholders for their forbearance during the domestic debt exchange program and subsequent administrative processes so this is a release uh, coming uh, from the ministry of finance and we understand that necessary payment has been done by the bank of ghana it could take some time to these commercial banks for them to advance to these uh, individual bondholders okay 48 hours is the date uh, and so if you're just joining us if your coupons and principals matured on the 6th of february and the 13th of february you should expect yeah. payment mm. in the next and it's, ca hours. it's covering all the categories you talk about interest payments coupons principal maturity yeah. so if you had your paper maturing or that matured on the maybe uh, 13th of february you're going to get everything being paid out to you i knew that some people had theirs matured on Later. the 20th yeah. and even the 7th of, 7th march, of march it yes. appears that a new date will come out in terms of how those payments will be will done be right. okay yeah. but but the, the uh, communications that they will be paid yeah and, uh, and when and yeah and, and, and i understand so that as we even speak this evening that process where the bank of ghana necessary um, commitment being advanced to these commercial banks so depending on how these banks could fast track the process maybe from the tomorrow morning you should, you should be getting your alerts your account, uh, in terms right. of the money's been hitting your account thank yeah. you very much george thank you very much george and so that's the major developing story on the front of the uh, domestic debt exchange program those who are owed uh, take notice you'll be paid in the next 48 hours but that will only affect those who uh, coupons and principles matured on the 6th of february and on the 13th of february uh, there's the many more coupons that had, that had uh, matured are due uh, post those these two dates the ministry says uh, they will process those and communicate the dates in due course you're still here on top story on joy 99.7 fm